Mangoes, mangoes, and I bought these at Sam's and Costco, or Costco, I can't remember which one because I go to both, um, but I go more to Sam's and Costco, Costco's parking is crazy, guys, I mean, it doesn't matter what day, what time you go to Costco, there's never any parking, oh my gosh, Sam's is just perfect, and they open at 7 a.m., I don't have to wait till 10, so I mainly go to Sam's, but I think these are from Costco. They're mangoes, and I buy them, but then I have to wait like three, four days, so they get a little bit soft. You want them a little soft. You don't want them hard, but then again, some people like harder fruit. I like soft. I like them ripe, but not too ripe, even though they say the bananas are the best when they got all those spots and everything, because that's when all the vitamins, that's the best vitamins. Now, I should be peeling these mangoes with a peeler so you don't get too much of the pulp, right? Because if you peel it sometimes with knives, you don't get as much as you can of that pulp. So, I'm getting... <laughs> My hands hurt because I've been peeling a few here already. While I was talking to Gabby, Gabby called me my baby from California. She called me twice, my little artist, so I had to talk to her for a little bit. So while I was talking, I was peeling. But this would probably go a lot quicker, and I wouldn't take so much pulp if I had. See the pulp in there? I could have a little more pulp, but I have so many here. And I have been peeling them already, guys. See? I'm peeling them. These are little pieces because sometimes it's hard to get around that weird-shaped uh, pit it has, right? So the other sides, when you know what side the pit is on, then you have two sides that have more meat. And I make them about an eighth of an inch. So they're a little bit bendy, but they're not too thin or too thick. And then, of course, you got the pieces that whatever you got, you got. <laughs> Guess what I'm going to do with them? Guess what we're going to do with them? Because I will get them ready. And I'll show you how I do that. And I will... I almost cut my hand there. I've got to be careful. This is that fillet knife I showed you the other day that's still kind of loose. So anyway, what I was saying is we can talk a little bit while I'm peeling. Because... I haven't had a chance to talk to you guys in a while. I got this group, this, um, I have a lot of groups. I have a rosary group that I pray the rosary in the morning. I have a Jesus, um, uh, Jesus whispers group, which is a little bit of everything and anything spiritual I put on there. And then I have I started a cooking group thinking that my friend Nellie and I were going to go crazy and cook, 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 cook together. But you know what? She's been sick. She's been under the weather. Um, she's, she had a cold first. And then this week we were supposed to get together yesterday to cook and she got food poisoned. So I'm like, girl, what is this? So I've been posting other videos for you guys, which are, some of them are also meat videos. They are not all vegan, even though we are trying to go vegan, Nellie and I. Um, every now and then I will post other interesting videos because we have to also understand that our family, some of our family are not vegan. My husband is a meat and potatoes guy. And so I have to cook for him meat dishes, even though I don't myself eat meat. I hate to cook meat dishes, but, you know, what can I do? You know, he's my husband. <laughs> he's my husband. I'm 34 years. I got to. I got to feed the man. So, um, and my son also eats meat. And my mother. So, here I am going, okay. I got to make the enchiladas. And then on the side, I got to make the eggplant, parmesan, or whatever I'm going to have on the side. But I don't mind doing that because I got the time and I can, right? And this is going very slow. I need to get a peeler. Junior, can you get mommy a peeler, please? So anyway, I was saying, that's why I post also in the group other things. Like I post um, 
other people's recipes and other things that are interesting. So you guys, if you have an interesting recipe or you want to come on and say hi and make something or share your favorite recipe with us, please do. You are welcome. That's why it's a group that I opened and not a page. Because if you open a page, then, um, Junior, then you can't. With a page, you can't. Um, other people can't for some reason. I don't know why they can't um, post. But with a the group, they can't post. But then again, with a group, you can't do the two people thing. But you can a page. So I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> So we just go with it, right? You go with the flow. Done. Okay, so now let's see. I think the pit's going to be in the middle there. So if the pit is this way, then you're going to have a lot more on this side and on this side to cut. And then the sides are going to be, because the pit's like long, it's a long pit. I'll show you one over here. See, it's a long pit. This one's been bit. <laughs> I don't like to get that close to the pit, so I just bite around it when I'm done. But it's um, long, but thin, but like wide. So if you can find the size where it's thin, you can cut more on those sides. I think there are these sides here. So I think you can see me okay. So just go ahead and cut and cut. And like I said, you don't want to cut too, um, too thick, but not too thin either. So you get at least four good slices on both sides. Four nice big slices on both sides. And then, and then you can, ah, I've been watching these shows on TV. Oh my gosh. I've been doing a lot of crocheting. So, um, and then on the sides here, you've got to go like that and just get as much as you can out in pieces, right? We're going to dehydrate these. So when we put them on the dehydrator, um, there's, they're gonna be dehydrating for about, uh, I think maybe 12 hours, 10 or 12 hours, because we want them a little chewy, but not too chewy. Oh, they're, they're the best. These, these and pears, guys, are my favorite things to dehydrate, my favorite, because these, end up getting chewy and hard. So it's like a beef jerky, only it's not beef jerky. It's it's mango jerky. It's so delicious. I love it. I love it. And then if you ever want it to get like um, big again, you can always also put them in a little bit of water and they get puffy again a little bit. So, you know, they're, they're like, they're like um, dehydrated, but you can always, if you need them a little bit more pulpier, you can always do that. That's what I do with the goji berries that I buy. I do that. See, this is what I do. Mmm. I go around it because it's so sweet. And you kind of don't want to... Mmm. I don't know how many calories, but they're so good. Okay, so... I got... See, if... um. Anyway, I don't know what I was going to say. <laughs> I'm going to bring some of this to my friend tomorrow. I'm going to go visit. Oh, yummy. Look at that. This was what? How many? Maybe four. That's four mangoes. I think enough. I think four mangoes is enough to go in the dehydrator. And I still have all these left. So these are going to have to go in the fridge because um, they're probably going to be good another two, three days in the fridge. And after that, if I don't need them, I'm going to have to peel them and cut them and maybe freeze them. Freeze them in Ziploc bags, and you can throw them in your smoothies. Oh, they're delicious in smoothies to sweeten up your smoothies. I do the same thing with my bananas. If my bananas um, are a little bit like, you know, you get bananas, but then they don't. I have a bunch over there. You don't need them, and they start getting really brown, and sometimes they get really brown. They start getting mushy. That's a perfect banana for banana bread, but if you're not going to make banana bread because you're on a diet, or you can make banana pancakes, um, which is perfect for banana pancakes, which are healthy. It's a healthy recipe I have. I think I posted that. 
But I was saying, uh, you just freeze them. And the bananas, you can also freeze. Just peel them, cut them in half or in pieces, and stick them in a freeze lock in a, in a zipper freezer bag and put them in your freezer. And I do that with a lot of my fruits that are, that are starting to go bad, or even my herbs. When my herbs start getting limpy and yucky, I either throw them in soup or I stick them in a quiche. <laughs> or I just stick them in the freezer. And so sometimes you're like, okay, I don't have anything to eat. I don't know what to eat. My, fr my fridge is empty. Oh, but I got a freezer. Hold on. Let me look at my freezer. You can go shopping in your freezer. There you go. Okay, guys. I'm going to let you go now. And I am going to get all set up because I'm not set up back there. And I'll come back on in a minute and I'll show you how to put them on your uh, dehydrator. I have one of those dehydrators that go up one on top of the other, but you can also do them in your oven. If you have a little oven, I also have a air, air fryer. You can do them in there too, because that also dehydrates. It even has a basket. So you know what, if I don't have enough room, but I think I do have enough room for these. Um, I can always throw some in there as well. Or if you don't have either, you can do them in your oven. You can look up on Google how to do that. I, I've never done it in the oven, but I but I would think you just put it um, at like 200, a low temperature for a lot of hours, because that's what we're doing here. We're doing it 200, 185, 200 for a lot of hours. Just make sure that it's like somewhere that it gets aired, that, you know, not something that's like a pan. Make sure it's like a basket of some kind of like a wire or something that has holes in it so it can go on both sides, I guess. Anyway, I'm just guessing. I'm just talking too much. Talking too much. What else is new with me? <laughs> okay, so I'll come on in just a minute. So I'll see you in a minute. Bye. Is our mangoes. I did not cut all of them up. I still have four left here um, in case I need more, but I think I'll be okay. I think I'll be okay. I have a stacker, a stacker one, which has one, two, three, four, five trays. And it's a little bit sticky. I did, I did apples a couple of days ago and I didn't, I cleaned it, but I don't think I cleaned it all the way because I said, I am going to do my mangoes, but um, it is good to clean them well. And they could go in the dishwasher too, but I didn't clean it that well but it's only a couple of days I'll clean it better tomorrow after these are done so what I do is I just they're about an eighth of an inch they're not too thin but not too thick either and I'm putting them as evenly as I can to make sure I got every little I have smaller pieces I'm putting on the sides there. And some are a little thicker than others, so some are gonna stay a little chewier than others, which is perfectly okay by me, because I just love chewy, chewy, chewy mangoes. They're my favorite. This is my favorite snack. It reminds me, only it's even better than, when I was a little girl, my mom used to put in my lunches those fruit roll-ups. Do you guys remember fruit roll-ups? Wow, it kind of reminds me of fruit roll-ups because they're fruity, but they're, they're adult fruit roll-ups. How's that? <laughs> they still have the fruit roll-ups too. I see them sometimes. I think it has a different name now, I'm not sure. But anyway, so as you see, I'm trying to fit as many as I can. You do not want to overlap, like I did right there. So that's the one. Put that down, grab another tray, do the same thing. And you can also mix. You can do the half of half of this, and you can do half of apples. It takes a lot of patience, though, to wait for them. <laughs> so it takes probably, I would say, eight hours, six or eight hours, or ten hours. Just kind of, kind of look at them every now and then, so that. You don't overdo it. You don't want to overdo it. You don't want to make them too dry that they get really hard. So I don't know. Everyone has a favorite texture. My mangoes, I like them a little bit chewy. Not too chewy, but a little bit. I don't like them hard. So you just put them on. And I think I'm going to be able to add those other ones too. But I'll show you how to do it. And these, these dehydrator guys are so inexpensive. 
I got this one on eBay um, like three years ago. I've been using it a lot. I got it for, I think, 25 bucks or something like that. Ridiculously cheap because you use it a lot. And especially if you have like apples and you know you're not gonna eat them and you don't want them to go bad, dehydrate them. Oh, they're so good. It reminds me of the um, apple salad that I get, the Fuji apple salad that I get over at, um, at Panera Bread. And they put a lot of apples. I always ask, extra apples, please, extra apples. They charge me for it too. And it's, it's so easy to make apple chips. The apple chips are even easier than these because you just peel the apples and you do them in the multiprocessor because it has like a slicer and you just slice it up in there. Or else you can use one of those thingies that, if you have them that slices like that. I forgot what they're called. You can do them on there. So yeah, you can do apples. You know what? I don't like doing bananas on here. I've tried bananas and no, they do not taste like the bananas that you get on the bins at Whole Foods. Because I think those bananas are fried, I really do. Because there's no way that you can get the bananas that crispy. And I have done the bananas on here. I have done bananas and I've done them for like 20 hours and it's still, oh, it's just horrible. It comes out horrible. <laughs> I don't like it at all. But, oh look, I could have I could have cut more mangoes. So I guess I'm gonna have to come back with more mangoes, but I'll get it started so you guys can see how it works. Um, if you do wanna do apples though, put one cup of like, like juice one lemon and mix it in really well with your hands. The lemon will give it a little bit of a tart taste, which is yummy for the sweet apple. And also it will prevent the apples from getting brown. And you do the same thing with the bananas if you want to try bananas, but I wouldn't. You know what else is good in there? Oranges. Even with the peel, guys, if they're organic oranges, just slice them up. Do it with peel and all. Oh, they're so good. Anyway, okay, so we got this on. You put it on. I'm going to plug it in. Let me see so that way you guys can hear. You guys can hear the sound. Let me plug it in. I broke something. Okay, let's see. Okay. Is that my dear beloved husband of mine never fixes things that he needs to fix? Okay, there we go. I plugged it in. You hear it? And on here. There's, le there's like 160, 145, 135, and it says down here, for fruits and vegetables, 135. I put it at 145. I just like it a little bit harder. But it, it even tells you on here uh, what level you want to do it. And I have one more here that I'm going to add in just a minute. So that's it, guys. And I'll let you know what it looks like when they're ready to come out. Okay, I'll talk to you guys soon. It's morning, I left it running all night, very low temperature. Well, all night for me is six, six eight hours, six, seven, eight hours. So um, let's see what, what it looks like this morning. I just turned it off and it looks good, guys. It looks good. Let's taste it. Mm. Actually, it's a little crispy. It should not be crispy, <laughs> but it's still good. There we go. Mm -mm. Yummy, yummy. Oh my gosh, they're so good. Some are a little chewy which is what I like. Mm. But yeah, so you just pack them up, guys. And you can eat them. You can leave them out if you want. I put them in the fridge even though they get hard, but then I just bring them out and let them sit out for a little bit. Mmm.
nature's candy. <laughs> so terribly sweet, guys. But don't make them too thin. Because if you make them too thin, then they get too hard. Yep. Yummy, yummy goodness. Mmm. I'm going to bring you some, Anne Marie, okay? I'm going to go visit my buddy today. I'm going to bring you some treats. Some treats. Some nature's candy. Nothing added. All natural. Love you guys. Bye.